want to talk just a little bit about the values of putting a chart together, um, what that will do for you. Uh, essentially, five reasons that I can think of why you might choose to put your observations into a chart. Number one is it helps you to summarize your observations for later on. Uh, secondly, it helps you if you can really put a chart together of the basic structure of the, the book. Uh, it'll help you to see the, the skeleton, the, the structure, the outline of the book in a very clear and succinct way. Another reason is it will help you to focus on big picture kinds of things rather than getting bogged down in a lot of details. Uh, all of us, it seems, have a much easier time being analytical than we are being synthetic. So uh, synthesis is more about what is the big picture, what is the structure, what is the outline, and analysis is more about details. And, and doing a chart helps you focus more on the, the structure. Also, if you can put your observations down into a good chart, clear chart, then you can save that and you can use it later and you don't have to start all over again uh, the next time you study this particular book. And um, finally, another reason would be to make it memorable. So you can um, very quickly, you can see how the book is put together and you might even be able to share it with others uh, in a little bit easier way. Now, with the book of Habakkuk that we went through a little bit earlier, we observed the whole book in a very short amount of time. We highlighted the, the main structural markers and the key observations of the book. Now, how would we put that into a chart? Well, if I was doing it, I would probably start the top of the, the page, the top of the chart, just by putting the book title there. Uh, and if I was making a chart and having cells and rows and things like that, I would probably leave a row underneath there, but I, I'd, I'd skip that for now. And then I would try to reflect what is the biggest break in the book. And what we saw is that chapters 1 and 2 are a complete unit, and then chapter 3 is another unit. So in that particular row, I would, I would break it. I would have 1-1 one, one through 2-20, making up one section. And then I would have chapter 3, so verses 1 to 19, making up the second major section of the book. And I would probably label that first section of the first row, which is chapters 1 and 2, an oracle, because that's how it was uh, headed at the very beginning of the book in 1-1. And then the second cell I would uh, highlight as just a prayer, because that's how it was uh, highlighted in 3.1 and then 3.19. Probably after that I would uh, come down another row and I would put something like underneath the oracle I would have something like God's instrument Babylon and then underneath chapter 3 I would have something like response or confidence for a dark future. Uh, I would probably then in the next row highlight something about the interchange structure of the book, particularly in the first two chapters. So we'd have Habakkuk's lament in 1, 2 through 4. We would have the Lord's response in 1, 5 through 11. We would have Habakkuk's response in 1, 12 through chapter 2, verse 1. And then we would have God's response in chapter 2, 2 through 20. Now, underneath chapter 3, we might have something like Habakkuk's request, which was just a one-verse prayer request in verse 2. Then we would have a historical review in verses 3 through 15, and then Habakkuk's response really to the whole book in 3, 9, uh, 16 through 19. Now, if you wanted to, sometimes it can be helpful if, if you feel that the, that the book has a particular verse that summarizes the overall message of the book or in some way helps you understand the book, you might want to put that in. I usually put that in under the title for the book, so underneath Habakkuk. And I would think that in this case, Habakkuk 2.4b would be that kind of a verse. And so we put in, but the righteous will live by his faith underneath that. Uh, again, what you're trying to do in a chart is you are trying to summarize uh, the big 
aspects, your big observations, the structure of the book, so that you can look at that chart and at a moment's glance you can have a, a good structural overview, you can know what that book is about.